it's all round tree till you get burst. And if you doubt me, jump feet first. People around me will tell you JME's mentality is one with the earth. Take me to the valley. Oh, it feels like the beginning of the season. We are going to be late to the match. It's about probably, it's going to be about five minutes um, after kickoff that we get into the valley. Just walk in there now. Risha, do you want to show everyone your new Christmas present? Oh, look at that. A Cholton of Flag hoodie. She's getting some of the merch. Oh, what a woman. A certain Benjamin Reeves, Marcus Marshall, and Ricardo Holmes. Oh, as is a little cheer, I don't think we've scored though. Um, but they're all starting today. Possibly the first time they've all started together. Not sure. See AFC stats on Twitter? Is that true? Um, but I'm excited about that today. Looking forward to it. Hey. Here comes on, Josh. Let's see how you can finish. One shot when you heard it here first. home against Gillingham with a, not a full strength squad out, but a decent squad out, especially attacking wise. We are creating nothing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, honestly. We are making Gillingham look like, literally like Barcelona. It's absolutely unforgivable. I, Cholton never failed to surprise me. I did not expect to come to the Valley today on New Year's Day. And just to see this absolute Show. Part of my French. It's just dreadful. It's we've got a decent team out. We've conceded poor goals. Spaces in the midfield. Really embarrassing. I haven't even had a real shot. I don't think we've had a shot on target. I never know if we've had a shot off target. Reeves looks off it. Um, Marshall's touch ain't there. He's only putting about one good cross. Ricky Holmes giving the ball to him is predictable. He's got two men on him all the time. And defensively, we just always look leaky. So. Um, we need an absolute festive. Can you still say festive on the 1st of January? Anyway, we need we need some sort of miracle to. Um, another year for that now. Yeah, we, we need some we need some sort of miracle for this game to be drawn, if not won. Um, poor, really poor. I just I can't remember the last time I saw them win. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I watched one of those um, was the first time and only time I've seen someone hit the bar. Everything's just gone downhill from there. Yeah, I know what you mean the in terms of Cholton as well. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'll tell you what, that was a terrible shot. I'd sign him, I hope, for some of these players that are playing for us today. Let me just turn this radio down and tell you how I'm feeling, Risha. I first of all think I'll that tell you how I'm feeling. Yeah, how do you first of all how do you feel, Risha? As your <laughs> as, as your first season seeing Cholton, 
my this is, heart, this is classic. My heart feels sad. Your heart feels sad. That's the this only way. This is a Gillingham fan. Can, look in front, GFC. The only way I can describe how I'm feeling is that my heart feels sad. Well, I mean, you heard it there. Her heart feels sad. My, my body feels angry. That's how I'd say. I, yeah, I just feel like, just like gutted. Yeah, but that's football. But the thing is, right? We lost that game in the first half today. We lost it yeah. in the first sort of 25 minutes. I looked at the scoreboard and I thought. We're losing 2-0 at home to Gillingham, like a team that's sort of flirting with the bottom of the table. They've been on a little bit of good form, but we had we, we had Forster Kasky back, we had Reeves, Holmes and Marshall all starting. All right, let's go through the players. Marshall, Boxes. how can I say it without swearing? He was rubbish today. So first of all, Marshall. Ben Reeves. Hang on, Marshall, first of all. Okay. We, we, I do not feel comfortable when Marshall is on the ball. When See, it, I didn't think he was, like, I thought he was one of the better ones today. Definitely. He can do like, he can have a little run and then he'll put in a ball that's like okay and no one will win it. But he, when he gets the ball, you don't feel confident that he's going to put it in and it's going to meet someone's head or he's going to have a shot and it's going to go on target. You just don't, I don't feel that. He lost, he also tried, had a few like jostles where he, defensively where he lost out today. He's had a couple of good games, but he, as, as one of our star signings, our like marquee signings of the summer, it's not good enough from him so far, you know, half the season gone over half the season gone right let's then go on to ben reeves who was off it today good finisher lovely intricate little footballer when he's playing in in a winning team when we're losing and a game like that don't know if he was in carrying an injury or whatever his touch was off he was he just wanted too much time on the ball that he was never going to get i think that if leon best didn't get injured then the game would have been completely different in that second half right let, let them, let's do leon best next right he's been fantastic but he cannot finish his dinner his little he's just got a touch of class about him takes little touches to take players out of the game sets people up um you know really good close control good positioning wins headers wants to play but he can't finish he had a chance but i think that's that's the second time now where yeah. he's come on and literally got injured straight away and had to come yeah, no, but I think he ran into a post today, didn't he? I'm not entirely sure what happened. Maybe he shouldn't be so clumsy. Either way, he's been good, but still needs someone who's got that real finishing touch about them. Eves, by the way, for them, winds me up. He's just he's just like a... Oh, number nine. Yeah, he's just like a big, like slightly better McGuinness. I don't know. I think when they're both playing well, McGuinness has probably got a little bit more about McGuinness him. was better in the second half. Yeah, McGuinness was better in the second half. He's, he, he can do little bits and bobs here and there, but he's not a finisher. But it makes him look bad. I said this to you as well, that yeah. he's our number nine. He's at the top of the formation by himself. He gets every single ball lumped up to him. He wins some headers. Sometimes he wins them and it doesn't. he doesn't quite knock it in the right place. Sometimes he does win them. Sometimes he doesn't go for them because I bet he's got a bloody headache by the time that game finishes. He, he, I, he, bet, I tell you, he's got a headache, Nabi Saar. Yeah, I know. No, Nabi, let's talk about Nabi Saar then. Nabi Saar at fault for probably both of the goals. Everyone on the pitch other than Harry Lennon and Jada Silva can, and maybe Ahern Grant as well, can come off the pitch and think that they could have done more. And Holmes as well. Holmes tried everything, but nothing really came off for him. And we are becoming a little bit like Ricky Holmes FC at times. Like, it's just like, okay, we're in a we're in a difficult position. We need a goal. Just give the ball to Holmes and see what happens. And then the other team know you're gonna do that as well. Yeah, and they know you're gonna do it and they put three men on him. Or they just like they rough him up, you know. So he gets a little bit, he gets niggles and injuries, and we need we need a, another dynamic in our game. Anyway, I could rant about all the players who can come out of that game holding their head up high. Amos, Ricky Holmes, definitely. Yeah, Holmes for his effort. Nothing came off for him, but yeah, Amos, Holmes, De Silva, and I think Lennon. Best best as well but he only played yeah. for four minutes so like yeah but yeah other than that everyone could have put more into the game robinson probably in a little I bit of trouble now was good. i said the silver oh. yeah robinson's probably in a little bit of trouble now um the ownership thing will he will he get time to turn it around because it's, it's becoming it's becoming not like a little blip in form now it's becoming a run of bad form like a really bad run so how long he, he's got he's probably Got two, two, three games to save his, save his bacon at the moment. You've got to say, I love the guy, but he's not, he's not performing on the pitch. His players ain't performing for him. Injuries, yes, but today we had a pretty full strength squad. Like I said, Forza, Kasky, Holmes, Reeves, and Marshall in the starting lineup. That's pretty much our strongest front line, um, with McGuinness as well. We need bodies in January. We need, um, I think Robinson to just turn it around, and I can't see where the next win's coming from at the moment. But anyway. Ran over. Sorry about that. Also, go on. Um, happy New Year. 
Yeah. Except it's not very. Ha it hasn't started off very happy, has I it? I mean, not for Charlton fans. <laughs> it hasn't started off as a particularly happy New Year. Well, no. Yeah, but yeah, we had a nice New Year's Eve. I hope everyone else enjoyed their New Year's. I hope you've got good plans and I hope a lot of um, good things happen to you in 2018, everyone. Thank you very much for making my 2017 very good. This, same, this is gonna seem really like disingenuous because I'm driving and not looking at the camera, <laughs> but I really mean it. Thank you everyone for, you know, getting on board with the channel this year or last year now, you should say, I suppose. Um, like I said, I hope everyone has a great 2018. There's a lot of good things in store on the channel as well. Um, so let's make it a good one. Let's hopefully turn this form around in terms of Cholwyn's performances and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching everyone and Risha, do you know what do you want to do my outro today? Okay but okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No no I'll, you say it and I'll do the hand. Sweet